I'm, I'm Linda Solomon Wood. I'm the editor in chief of National Observer, and I'm here talking with Dr. Kang, who is a researcher from Western University, one of the Canadian researchers who is working on finding a vaccination. And I can only imagine, Dr. Kang, that you're working around the clock right now with your, and, and that um, you have a team. I, I know the timelines on these things can be long. Like, how does it feel? when you're looking around at the news and seeing what's happening to, you know, people all over the world, but, you know, more and more in North America and in our world here, how, what, do you feel a lot of pressure? How are you, how are you coping? Uh, when I see that uh, this pandemic and every day there are thousands of new cases of COVID-19 and uh, there are many, many deaths associated with the COVID-19, I feel as a virologist, we are responsible to make a vaccine which can stop this COVID-19 pandemic. And therefore, uh, my folks, uh, my research associates were here Saturday and Sunday, yesterday and before yesterday. We were all here, including myself, working 12 plus hours every day. What is the likelihood that Canadians are going to be the ones to come up with the, with the vaccine? I hope that our vaccine will work. And in fact, we know, I have quite a confidence that our vaccine should work because we have experience with MERS coronavirus vaccine development. And we will have this vaccine uh, for testing within six, uh, about three months time. And, really? Uh, yes, but, but. Uh, testing I, I, humans or animals or? Normally, the, uh, you have to have a preclinical test before you yes. put human. However, because of the urgency, maybe we can have a, a, the approval from the government for fast track of this vaccine trial in humans. Now, uh, because vaccine has to be safe, no matter how vaccine is, if it is not safe, one cannot use it. The cure can't <clears throat> be worse than the disease. Right, so that the vaccine has to be safe, number one. Number two, it has to be effective to prevent the infection. And uh, ideally, we like to have a vaccine which can prevent over 90% of, of infection. And there are certain vaccines which will not reach that high percentage of efficacy. However, we hope that the, the vaccine that we are developing can be um, used for the human clinical trials in a relatively short period of time. Normally, it has to go through many different tests, preclinical tests, before the human clinical trials. However, I think we can do the fast track with this vaccine because we need it yesterday. Because so you just spoke to Forbes. What, what was that you said to them? I, I said to Forbes and the uh, Alex, who, who was a reporter, I told him that. Uh, we know that our vaccine is safe. And uh, therefore, I like to stick out my arm first as the first vaccinee to get my vaccination done. And because I know that it's gonna be safe and hopefully that it will prevent me to get an infection with the, the SARS coronavirus and uh, SARS-CoV-2.